So do you have any idea? We do. And we're not mocking you. Well, a little. <laughs> do you have any idea how many experiences you have called to you that you're not allowing to flow with the ease that is possible? And do you know the one reason why you're not allowing these things, experiences, people, places, events, circumstances, dollars to flow to you in the way that you want? It's because you are fixated on the observation of what is and you are letting the absence of what you want in your what isness dominate your vibration, set up a vibrational field that holds it apart. So you've got this pull, push, pull, push, pull, push thing going on. I want it, but I want it now, and I want it yesterday, and I want it so much, and the not having of it has me upset. That's basically what your vibration, most of you, we love you so much. But we thought you might like to start this new year off knowing how to create your own reality because nobody else is creating your own reality you see that's why it's called your own reality your own reality you are the creator of your own reality which means you are the vibrator of your own beingness which means you are the thinker of your own thoughts you are the perceiver of your own world you are the attractor of your own experience you are the maker of your own life you are the uplifter of your own being you are the magnificent genius creator who came into this physical body with the express intent of mixing it up of looking around of identifying what you want of achieving vibrational harmony with it and then taking glory watching with reverence and appreciation and rambank rambunctious zest for life watching the components of your creation come into place one by one to in some cases surprise you and in every case delight you to the power and the clarity and the worthiness and the goodness and the readiness and the bigness of that which is you we love visiting with you we like so much a group like you gathering together people all around the world we're pleased that you are there too listening to our rampage of appreciation of the life that you are living your life that you are living but you can't live your life without those like us benefiting from your exposure to your life because when you look around and you have experiences and you revel with delight in some of them and you shudder in discomfort at others in every case whether you are cringing or applauding you are focusing energy that is creating worlds and as you do that we are all in on it we get to participate with you that thrill that you have is our thrill that you are interpreting but when you feel bad that's you interpreting the absence of us absence isn't the right word because we don't go away it is your pinching yourself off from the vibration of your source that is really what negative emotion is so have you been listening to us for a while you know about vibration pretty much you understand that law of attraction is the engine that manages all of this and that it is tuned to vibrational frequencies do you understand that everything has a vibrational frequency do you understand that your manifestations that will soon manifest have vibrational frequencies and that if before it manifests you achieve vibrational harmony with the frequency of it then it comes to you faster do you understand that abundance has a vibrational frequency yeah and can you imagine what it feels like what what would the vibrational frequency of abundance feel like if you were going to put words to it it would feel like ease it would feel like freedom to choose certainly it would feel like eagerness it would feel like clarity it feels like the vibration of abundance feels like fresh air it feels like clear path it feels unlimited it feels always flowing it feels abundant 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 meaning never-ending always flowing it, it doesn't feel pinched off and it doesn't feel like jealousy and it doesn't feel like worry and it doesn't feel like fear 
It feels like fun. It feels like sureness. It feels like certainty. So let's say that you're standing in a what isness of less abundance than you want. If you can take your attention away from your perceived manifestation of not enough and you can focus upon something else that feels like fun or something else that feels unlimited in other words you can use subjects other than the subject of money which may feel like not enough every time you think about it you can focus upon other things that feel like fun that feel unlimited that feel like clarity that feel like fresh air you can practice the seed vibration of abundance by staying off the subject if the subject calls something different from you you see what we're talking about a while back we said if you're working on abundance if abundance is something that is important to you then take money out of the equation because there is so much abundance that is abundantly around you that you can tune yourself to the frequency of that what does what does what's another what's something else you want usually it falls into a handful of categories you want money you want a lover you want someplace really great to live you want a body that feels good so let's say that you your your intent is for a lover who isn't there a lover what does a lover feel like what does it feel like what does being in love what does a lover feel like what's it feel like high. feels happy feels high feels pretty damn good <laughs> feels like well-being feels like homecoming feels like security feels like appreciation feels like being appreciated feels like feels effortless feels like ease feels natural feels like desire in other words if you can get to the general vibrational reason behind what you want which is what why do I want it the question why do I want this thing will bring to you then you can we know you can you can begin practicing the vibration of the manifestation that is coming now here's the thing that we know that often you don't know that we so want you to know and that is that everything you've asked for is coming and the only question is how long are you going to keep yourself from it that's the only question we're just feeling you out a little bit because do you know how much money is in your vortex do you know what a vortex even is the vortex is a vibrational holding place of all of the desires that you've launched so do you sense do you sense that we sense do you understand that there is abundance immeasurable abundance not recognizable by most of you abundance not yet experienced let's just put it that way by most of you abundance for you vibrationally queued up and that all you've got to do all you've got to do the only thing you've got to do is to practice the vibration of it and it makes its way to you in so many different life-giving fun ways but you got to practice the vibration of it and that's what trips humans up we love you very much you know what's coming next but you don't for the most part practice the vibration of what's in your vortex you practice the vibration of what's already manifested and what's already manifest is a puny comparison to what's available to you so we've made our point you got to stop focusing so much on what is that it dominates your vibrational patterns and you have to start focusing upon who you really are and how you want to feel so when you think about the things you want and there are a lot of them and it's wonderful when you think about the things that you want and you think about why you want those things that you want and it brings you to that vibrational reason most of which is easily recognizable by you and easy to find by you and easy to discover all around you already because the feeling of money is not only available to you in money itself 
because you just said it feels like fun it feels like freedom it feels like and there is so much of your world that does not require money in order to feel those things you see so if you look around as the selective sifter that we know a deliberate creator like you can be and you tune your frequency to the feeling of so it would be such a good thing if you could just make your list of things that you want and take each item one by one and stop and analyze for yourself what is the feeling of that when I have that when I live that when I am that when that is my experience when that's who I am when that's where I am when that's who I'm with when that's what I'm living what does that feel like what does it feel like not what does it look like what does it feel like what does the vibration of security feel like what does the feeling of homecoming feel like what does the feeling of empowerment feel like what does it feel like and as you pose those questions to yourself as you move through your days and you're feeling a lot of those things all day every day as you come across we started to say stumble across because you may not be doing it exactly on purpose but as you come across that feeling and you come across that feeling after you have acknowledged that you want to find that feeling it will stand out in a more vivid way and you can say yes that's it and then as you stay there and revel in the emotion of that for a moment you practice the frequency of it longer and that really is all that deliberate creation is it's choosing the feelings practicing the frequency until choosing those feelings comes easily and you know why choosing those feelings come easily because law of attraction says oh you feel like that here's a little more law of attraction doesn't behave like you want your mother to oh you feel bad here this will make you feel better law of attraction says oh that makes you feel bad here's some more You say, well, then law of attraction may not be my friend. We say your best friend because law of attraction is bringing you how you're feeling, showing it to you so you can make choices. This sucks. <laughs> this feels awful. How can I feel differently than this? And that's what we're going to be talking about here today. How can you gain control of the way you feel in this situation and this one and this one and this one? We'll give you a little hint. It's about self-soothing. It's about being kinder to yourself because if you would see yourself like that two or three or four year old that you're wanting to control because clearly they're out of control. They're so happy all the time <laughs> and irresponsible. <laughs> and they throw fits when they don't feel good. So if you could treat yourself like that one, you treat yourself like that what would you do you see a little one trying to learn how to walk not very good at it unstable over he goes get up you little dummy <laughs> don't you see the rest of us walking upright you're, you're not a dog you're not a cat get up get up you little dummy you don't do that why not why not because first of all you understand that you are where you are and next of all you understand that hmm with focus there is learning and with trying there is change in behavior and so it might be helpful if you would think about those that you feel most like encouraging who are they who do you feel most like encouraging is it those new ones that haven't yet shown their failure or their stupidity in other words this person deserves my help because this person is new to all of this or do you or do you want to uplift everyone are you a soother to most if you saw someone in the street bleeding we believe you would help them but when you see someone negatively expressing you sort of want to scold them into better behavior and that's sort of what you do to yourself you sometimes try to scold yourself into better vibration and we thought it would be a really good thing to start this new year out when you're thinking more about who you are and where you are and where you're going and what you want if you could just take this one piece from this gathering that you want to soothe yourself